Hello, I'm Richard Toy and I'm here to introduce the module on news, media and communication. In the module, we take the story of the development of the news from the medieval period through to the present day. We don't, of course, try to give you all the facts about all the key developments that happened within that period. Rather, we try to give you a set of conceptual tools which will help you to understand your own researches and to be able to locate what you have found within a wider theoretical framework. So what are the key themes of the course? Well, really they're about partly the spread of information, but also the forms in which that information is communicated. Why are newspapers and magazines in the form that they are? What were their origins? Why are they published? Uh, regularly on a daily or weekly basis. This was not the case when the first uh, sort of proto newspapers were published in the early modern period. And indeed, what about news when there aren't formal media such as newspapers or TV? What about rumour and gossip? And I think that to sort of give you a sense of uh, one of the kinds of things which we might talk about during the course, the current coronavirus crisis is a very interesting example uh, because we can think about how people get their information, whether or not they trust that information, uh, whether or not it comes from reliable sources, how they attempt to verify that if they indeed they do, or whether they simply uh, start spreading uh, gossip and rumours uh, verbally or by these days by electronic means. One could also think about the history of news surrounding health and epidemics and pandemics. And uh, of course, a key part of the um, comparative type module are the student-led seminars and there's a wide range of options of uh, what you can choose to do uh, your seminar on under and with our guidance of course as the leaders of the course um, and so one could look at themes such as fake news, one could look at news in, in a particular country, one could take a comparative approach, uh, you could think about uh, humorous news or spoof news like uh, The Onion, for example. Um, and so people get an awful lot out of the course, I think. It allows them to look at the news and media in ways which they hadn't previously thought about before. And uh, people do perform very well uh, in the in the work that they do on the course. Um, and so I, I commend it to you and I do hope that you'll sign up. Goodbye.